So, is it cheaper to buy or to build a house in Langebon? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. And we're starting right here, right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zilika van Eden, a real estate agent in Langebon with Freak Properties. And if this is your first time here, you really need to hit the subscribe button because I put out a lot of great videos and I don't want you to miss out on one of them. So should you buy or build a house? Well, let's talk about it. There are pros and cons each way. And if you decide to build a house, here are the pros. Number one is that you get something that's brand spanking new. No one's ever lived in it before. And when you build, you get exactly what you want. Number two is that you don't have to repaint or fix any decorating choices that you may not agree with. Number three is that you don't have to do any repairs to things that are broken. You don't have to modernize things or update them. And the fourth pro of buying a brand new house is that you can save on transfer duty if you buy it at the plot and plan stage. So that's a biggie. So those are the pros. Let's talk about some cons. Well, number one is it's usually a little bit more expensive to build a brand new home. If you bought the same type of house in the same neighborhood, but it was two or four years old, it would probably cost you less uh, than, we, than you were to build it brand new because of the building costs. Number two is the length of time that it takes. If you pick your plot and you pick your, you pick your plan and you start from scratch, you're usually looking at a minimum of five months before you're going to be moving in. And if you're in a hurry and you're going to have to live with in-laws for, let's say, five months, that might not be uh, the ideal situation to be in. Trust me, I've done that and it can get pretty crowded. Now, sometimes they have what they call spec homes that have already started construction or maybe they're halfway or three quarters of the way done. So you could buy one of those homes and it will be much faster to move into. However, the negatives are that you don't get to choose like your kitchen cupboard colors, your tiles, your countertops and that type of thing. So it's a trade-off. You must ask yourself, you know, do we need to move in fast or are we willing to wait in order to get exactly what we want? So those are the types of things you need to consider. So now let's talk about buying a second-hand home. So the pros are that usually it's less expensive to buy a house that's been lived in before. Um, so that's one thing. And number two is that things have already been done. They've got blinds, curtain rails, burglar bars, an alarm system, and hopefully the house is in a move-in condition. Number three, the landscaping is usually mature. How many times have you looked at a newly constructed home and there's not a single tree or shrub in sight? So just a, just a few bushes in front and that's about it. Well, doing a garden can be quite expensive. So that's definitely a benefit of buying a so-called second-hand home. So now let's talk about the obvious cons. And uh, number one is that people choose crazy paint colors. And the first day that you look at that house, you're going to be thinking, gosh, I'm going to have to repaint every single room in this house. There are houses that also still have tiles that went out of style about 20 years ago. And it's a lot of work uh, having to chop out and chop up tiles and redo the floors. So think about that. Um, also, possibly the bathrooms are very outdated and the kitchen cupboards and the stove. So there will be things that need to be repaired. Uh, and maintained and modernized and updated. So depending on the age of the house, um, the costs could be significant. So it really just depends on, are you in the mood for a fixer upper? So if you can get the house super cheap, are you willing to make all of those repairs and upgrades in order to then end up with a perfectly awesome house that didn't cost you that much money up front? Or would you want to rather build for yourself? So we've talked about should you buy or should you build a house in Langebon? What would you prefer? Would you prefer a house that's already done or would you prefer to build from scratch? Please comment below and let me know which is your favorite.